I have today asked President Reagan not to forward my nomination to the Supreme Court. And with that, Douglas Ginsburg ended two days of debate over his past drug use. But for other polit uh, would-be political leaders, the same debate is just beginning. Live on Channel 5, this is the 10 o'clock news with Mary Murnane and Daryl David, Jim Tillman with weather, and Mark Goldberg with sports. The Channel 5 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. President Reagan's second nominee to Phil Lewis Powell's vacant seat on the Supreme Court, Douglas Ginsburg, is out of the running. President Reagan praised Ginsburg for withdrawing. In a statement, Mr. Reagan said, Judge Ginsburg believes that a prolonged confirmation process will not benefit the nation or the court. I commend his selflessness and clear thinking. And there are angry reactions tonight from politicians following the Ginsburg controversy. Among those outraged, one of President Reagan's staunchest Republican supporters, Senator Orrin Hatch. And public interest groups voice their concerns tonight. The ACLU had sharp criticisms of what they are calling the administration's double standard of drug testing. Administration. The ACLU did not endorse or oppose Ginsburg's nomination. Tonight, questions on how thorough the administration checked into Ginsburg's background are being asked. Many White House insiders say the president should have dug deeper. If I were the president, I'd be a bit angry about uh, someone not making a very careful check. Besides the marijuana revelation, Ginsburg was facing hard questions on his participation as assistant attorney general in a cable TV case while he held $140,000 worth of stock in a cable company. Well, meantime, the careers of some politicians who've confessed to smoking marijuana may be under fire tonight. Democratic presidential candidate Senator Albert Gore of Tennessee admitted to smoking pot in college. Illinois Senator Paul Simon reacted cautiously to the administrations by, admissions by Gore and Babbitt. In Iowa this evening, the Democratic candidate said the use of marijuana is indeed a mistake and illegal. Well, tonight, some 3,000 appreciative supporters of the Chicago Urban League are celebrating its achievements. They're doing so at the league's 26th annual Golden Fellowship Dinner, the agency's largest fundraising event. Some Chicago Vietnam veterans are up in arms tonight over a controversial statement. That story's ahead. Also, you'll see why today is a day for celebrating in the Soviet Union. And Hollywood serves up a slice of heaven, but is this new film heavenly enough for Norman Mark? The answer's coming up. Stay tuned. College football, you got plenty of for us tonight, right? I do, but first we have professional basketball because okay. this was opening night. The glamour, the glitter, the stars, the NBA, the Bulls jumped into the season against the Sixers tonight at the stadium, and it was grand. Now I'm going to show you David Wingate to prove the Sixers did show up for this game. And now joining us live from the stadium, Warner with a couple of guys with smiles on their faces. Warner. That's right. As a matter of fact, I've got the two baby Bulls with me right here. Here's Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant. Both these guys playing in their first NBA basketball game. I'm going to turn to Scotty right now. Well, you know, everybody says, how does it feel? I know how it felt when you walked in. There was a little butterflies there, was it not? Well, yes, it was a little butterflies, but I tried to go out and uh, shake them off really and, you know, give the team what we need, the little burst to give us the boot, kind of get the ups in the game. Now, of course, you never played in a crowd like this. You've never played with these 18,000 people, have you? Well, no, I think the crowd at the home uh, sort of was a plus for me. Maybe when we go to Philly or Boston, you know, it's probably going to be a little jitter. So yeah. hopefully I can uh, be them work it in. Of course, the big guy over here, Horace Grant, you've been in front of crowds. Like, it didn't make you any difference at all. Did you come in shaking a little bit? Oh, definitely. Uh, it was my first uh, professional game uh, during the regular season. And... It was butterflies there, but I had to shake them out. Yeah, and you played some good D, and we thank you very much, and we know that these, this is going to be the nucleus of the baby bulls that are coming out. Aren't these guys short? I'm telling you, this one is 6'9", this one is 6'7". I know why I retired from the game. Back to you, Mark. I'm going to do another sports story. Good. Okay. Well, we all know how good basketball star Michael Jordan is on the court, and we know how good Channel 5's Ron Majors is in the news studio. But what if they were to switch places? Uh -huh. Well, during the halftime at the Bulls' season opening game tonight, Ron did just that. Now concentrate, Ron. That's miss number two. Ooh. Don't give up, Ron. That's miss number three. Ooh. Well, he ever sink one? I don't know. Ooh. That's miss number four. That's number five. Well, he did sink one, apparently. There was a big roar in the crowd, and that must have meant that he put one through the hoop. And it was all part of a celebrity free throw shooting contest for charity. 
I don't think he, Mr. Jordan has to worry. That's all the news <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> we thank you for joining us. Make it a good evening. Good night. Good night. Channel 5 Speak Up follows immediately.